All right, guys, welcome back to part two of SpongeBob Dolph Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And in the last part, we had just watched the cutscene at the beginning and explored most of SpongeBob's house, and now we're standing in front of the doorway that leads to the first golden spatula of the game. So let's get right into it. And then we can go out into Bikini Bottom through that door and try and finish up that area. And that'll probably finish up part two. So let's get in there. Pay 50 shiny objects to access this area. All right. So this is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob will need to collect many golden, spat golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. All right, so let me tell you a little something before we collect this. So as I said in my last part, not only will I be collecting all the golden spatulas and all the socks in this game, but I'll also be getting all the trophies. And one of the trophies is to collect everything in SpongeBob's house. That means all the shiny objects Patrick's sock in the closet and now this golden spatula so I think that once we collect this golden spatula we should get a trophy so let's let's check it out yep there it is time for tutorial trophy unlocked nice and that completes Spongebob's house so let's move on to Bikini Bottom Press R1 to exit SpongeBob's house. Nice, nice, I love it. We got our first trophy of the game. Mmm, making progress. Now we're gonna talk to Plankton like we did before. He's gonna ah, tell us. There's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Plankton. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. <laughs> Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. <laughs> that never gets old. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks. Not the forks. Of course I'll help. But wait. I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. You got a deal except for that last part. Oh, you can still hit people. I love it. Wait a minute. That wasn't in the original version of this game. If you remember from the original version, the only tiki's that were in this first area were the floating ones and the wooden ones. And I guess the stone ones. Oh no no, the stone ones weren't in this area either. But now they have a stone one, a volcano one, and the sh tiki. That's so weird. I never would have guessed they'd add those into this version. Oh, sparkly! Oh, and also in the original version of this game, there was like a red dotted line that would go around the entire perimeter of the out of bounds. That dotted line's not here, but you can still tell where the out of bounds is. I love opening presents. As do I. Look at these bubbles. Ah, there's some kind of bubble vent. Remember, to activate this button, press triangle. Oh look, there's a dead robot here. He's dead! We have to have a funeral for him and a burial. We commend these robot parts to heaven. 
May they rest in peace. <laughs> ah, yes, combos are still here. Remember, reminder to activate this button, jump and press circle. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. We actually didn't want to do that yet. Hey, but SpongeBob! Fine. I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Huh. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. <laughs> but uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, bubble moves? Uh, something about new bubble moves? All right. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! I'll try not to hit you. Oops. Oh, wait. Is there? Hold on. In the original version of the game, there's a shiny object up there, but there isn't this time. Ha! 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 Volcano Tiki, no! Oh. Oh, yeah, the sh Tiki. Gonna sneak up to this guy. Shh. Couple ammo. Get it. Oh, look at that. Bruh. Alright, before we continue on, I'm gonna see if the cheat codes that I did in the PlayStation 2 version still work. They should. We'll see. Uh, they don't... Huh. They don't seem to work. Because when I press circle, which is what you would do, it just sends you back out. Which is weird, because in the original version of the game, Triangle sent you back out. Now Circle does. Well, that's kind of weird. Oh well, I don't really need the cheat codes. Like I told you in the original version, I don't need them. I just like having them. But that's fine. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? Show those robots who's boss! Me! No, I'm the boss. And you're gonna get hit on the ground. Oh no. Another robot down! Why? Ah, who cares? <laughs> Don't forget, to defeat robots or tiki's that are directly above you, press this button. It's the triangle button, Bubble Buddy. Oh wait, where's his sock? What? Aw oh, man, in the PlayStation 2 version, Patrick was standing on a sock. Where's his sock? Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay. Okay, then. For every 10 socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. All right, so what button? There we go. So we have 225 shiny objects, two socks, three pairs of underwear, and one golden spatula. Did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Did they find you? <laughs> oh, right on his back. Oh, wow. So that just goes on forever. Huh. In the PlayStation 2 version, that would go away after a while. Weird. <laughs> Climb, SpongeBob. Climb. Uh. He's not very much of a climber. Can I climb this tree? Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Krabs. He's gonna tell us about our mission. 
or shiny objects. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? <laughs> but because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Sure thing, Mr. Krabs. I will always... Oh, let's see if this still works. Aww. I can't get on top of the house like I could in the other version. Wait a minute. Wait. Nah, whatever. It's not worth it, SpongeBob. Run! Run! Riding up the elevator. Going up. There's a pair of now golden I can underwear. Wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. I feel like a new sponge. Yes, golden spatula number two. Oh, look at that, Bikini Bottom Motor Company. Wow, you can see everything from up here. You can see Goo Lagoon. You can see the Juice Bar. You can see Sand Mountain. Whatever that is up there. Jellyfish Fields. Man. You can even see the Flying Dutchman's graveyard from here. Dang. Spongebob, you have a nice view from your roof. Let's go into Patrick's house. That's we kick out. Alright. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. <laughs> There's the picture of Spongebob and Patrick. Yeah. Best buds to the end. Now if you remember, if you hit Patrick's couch, it gives you a sock. Another find for Patrick! Aw, oh, but you know what? In the PlayStation 2 version, there was like a uh, gramophone over here that you could hit and it would play music. It's not here! Oh, look at that. Everything in this house is made of sand, and yet he's got a metal ladder. Hmm. And how does he reach it? It's so high up! SpongeBob has to double jump just to reach the first rung. That's kind of a flaw, unless it's one of those, like, fire escape ladders that comes down. That would work. It doesn't look like that's what that does, though. And wasn't that a wooden ladder in the original game? I don't know. Might have been. Patrick, I went into your house, and you'll never guess I found one of your socks under your couch. So that one wasn't stolen by a robot, it was just misplaced. I love opening presents. hi -yah! So we'll just go into Squidward's house, and then we'll stop this part before we head into Jellyfish Fields. It shines! Alright, sneak- oh, 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 oh. Sneak up. And kill him! Yes. We shall bathe in the blood of these tiki's. <sighs> if they even have blood, which they probably don't. In that case, we'll just have to bathe in the blood of Squidward. Squidward? Let me in! Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? Of course it can. 
You got a long day ahead of you. It's gonna get way more dreary than this. I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. <laughs> Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Move to another town. That should help out more than enough. Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. <laughs> I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Of course he has a lamp. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. I'm breaking all your stuff. Look at this. All your stuff's getting broken. So if you remember from before, I saw this painting. It was actually over here before. Oh, dude. Oh, look at that. It's handsome Squidward for when he got his head slammed in the door and he turned handsome, but then he wanted to go back to normal, but instead he got even more handsome. That's him. That wasn't even in the original version of this game because that episode didn't come out until after this game, like several years after this game. Oh, that's that's a usual painting. So is that. But as I was saying, this painting used to be over on that other wall, but I was wondering what the heck it was. I'm thinking it sort of looks like American Gothic. But, you know, obviously in American Gothic, there's like a farmhouse in the background and the guy on the right is holding a pitchfork. But it's similar. Now we're going to break your trophy of yourself. Usually, someone will have a trophy of a moose or a deer, not a trophy of themselves. <laughs> oh, yes. I broke all your stuff. I'm gonna put out your fire, too. Can I still put a, must a mustache on his face? Ha! Ah, I can still put a mustache on his face. Boy! Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. <laughs> yeah. Golden spatula number three. Let's talk to you again. Hey, Squidward. Didn't I pay you to go away? No, you paid me to stop bouncing, but if you must insist, I will leave. But I must ask you first, where is the rest of your house, Squidward? This is only the first floor, and there's no kitchen, there's no dining room, there's no couch. I mean, where's your upper floor where your bedroom is? I don't get it. This can't be your whole house. I mean, SpongeBob's house is three times this size. But anyway, that feels like a great place to stop this part. And in the next part, we can start Jellyfish Fields, which I'm very excited for. Now, I am disappointed that I can't use the cheat codes that I used in the other version of the game, but that's fine. But anyway, stay tuned for part three. And as always, like comment down below most importantly subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you are aware of my uploads when they come out and i will see you in the next part